Greetings everyone, and great here for another Cup Heroes 1 replay. So on the top left side as the Vermark forces, we have Knight. So on as the other Vermark forces, we have Rotor, or Rotor. It's the radar sort of style name. So on as the US forces, we have Chef or Boss. Chef Oberboss, I think. And as the other US player, we have Strong Silent Type. Vermont Quarters going on up. We got the Pioneers heading up north. Vermont Quarters here, so he's probably going to send one Pioneer back down here and probably one Pioneer to either the fuel or munitions points here. US Engineers heading down here. This player's going to go for one Engineers. Barrick, so he's going to forward some extra riflemen earlier on. I suppose in these sectors, one Engineer could be enough. A lot of work for him. Two is. You can will rapidly capture the sectors, but they will have the trouble getting more work done. But he can use this one engineer to capture these sectors and then just use the rifle squad to push forward and engage. But let's say he's gonna push into the center of the map here. Volksgrenier's spawning out. We do have the Fairmark Quarters here. Probably a Volksgrenier's could be for MG42. MG42. And the US engineers pushing very far forward. I'm for this munitions sector, not for the southern sectors. M42 okay, inside this house. Nice and warm in there. It has a nice little sky roof as well. Plenty of ambient lighting, that's for sure. Rifle squad does get suppressed down. Pioneers getting some good damage. Rifle squad. Almost like they're trying to charge forward like they had grenades. I don't think he would have grenades researched right now. Pioneer team ready. Engineers over here. Pioneers kept to the northern sectors. So the Volkswagen will keep the engineers away. Engineers and pioneers engaging, but it won't be a fair fight between the two. Because both screeners are eating. It's just clear. We win. Rifle squad trying to move forward. Able to get some good damage in the both screeners close range. So we got the MG42 here suppressing them with rifle squad. Very good. We got this rifle squad coming for a flank. I wonder, does he have grenades researched? There's no windows on the side, so he is getting good flank, but the pioneers find an angle there to help him get some damage. Or the defense crews, I should say, not the pioneers. Rock squad gets inside the garrison. We've got another M42 up here from his teammate. This one's pinned. That's rocking him. Take some damage. Defense crews gain some chip damage on the end. Engineers moving around. We do have these pioneers pretty poor, but needs. They're very low in health. M42 will not be picked off there. This team is holding screeners, push way forward, engaging the rifling squads. Got this M42 quick overran by this rifling squad. Needs to retarget towards this exposed one. Does get inside the garrison. Flamethrower gets some damage there onto the bolt screeners. Now got this pioneer falling back. There's plenty of windows in this building on all sides, so that rifle squad will be able to engage in from almost any direction. Skirmish base not complete. Folks are going to get inside this garrison, which there's actually a good number of windows inside. What the hell? That was loud. But either way, we do have. Ooh, does have a grenade there? What am I hearing? There's only one grenade throw, and all of a sudden I hear a bunch of explosions. Post is engaging. M42 will get a good burst there, suppressing, forcing back. And he does have four reinforcements right there. Folks, Grenadier is decapturing up this VP. We do have the garrison getting hit by MG42.
Engineers charge on wave four. The whole screen here could be forced back by the engineers. All depends how the engagement goes. Both engineers take some quick damage there from the engineers. Got this rock squad also pushing up there. The engineers do fall back nice and early. They may have a triage center. Going for a triage center. Otis I can all pull them out. And this gear is slowly being whittled down by the MG 42s. Two folks from here are here. Should be able to engage the Rex squad, no problem. His buddies push away forward as well, but they don't have cover. And we do, do know he has access to grenades. The grenade's been thrown. Got a good hit there. Folks from here is this one is taking a bit of damage. No comp rocks in it. Going for Grenade Warfare. Helped go up with Garrison. This Garrison. Oh, got stun grenades being the one out. So he has gone for Blitzkrieg. The assault grenades are being thrown now. Go for him. He's up with Garrison. And he's pretty close to getting the Garrison wiped out. If one more. He did not throw another grenade. But. The enemy advances. Does get wiped out there. Arm squads for three four with some flaming engineers in tow. We also got MP40s here. Very nice. Rock squad does get suppressed. Got this rock squad for three four. These folks on the flaming engineer. Grenades. He does mostly dodge a grenade, but they'll still take a bit of damage there. Folks, grenades on the high ground. Flamishers do fall back, and now the MP40 squad as well. Up north, we've got the rifle squad and engineers before forward trying to engage the Schimmelwagen. Rifle squads around here. Folks, grenades before forward gain some damage. Schimmelwagen does take some hits. Now, Shim Vogner looks like will go down. Does use the healing breaks there, but does get wiped out. They defended the fatherland. Folks around here is engaging from the garrison. Does have bars on that player. So one person has gone for bars. One person has gone for grenades. We also have one person going for a bunker here. Fly for casualties. Recovery. He does get these squads suppressed. Defense crews can get some good damage. Does size a fall back. And now it does get forced back there. Okay, I got the rifle squad pushing on the flank. They're losing territory. Both grenades taking some severe damage. They need to fall back over soon. Harrison not being engaged. And it, oh, we got multiple U.S. landmines right there. He does find one of them. The U.S. The rifle squad could get exploded if it gets out of the garrison too early. These squads being suppressed. Take some damage there. Both engineers do fall back. It does fall back now? Flame engineers trip forward. Flame engineers probably trying to clear out the uh, MG42. Rifle squad about to get wiped out. One squad's falling back, but it looks like he will escape on out. Both those rifle squads will escape on out. The Slam Engineer is getting suppressed by the M242. Got a Soul Phase Kyle in place, so some 2 3 4s be very useful. Flame Engineers do get wiped out, but these forces do get suppressed. Down south, we do got the Rifleman, and over here, Rifleman squad falling back. More cash is being claimed. That'll be casualty number one. M242 is getting flanked. Grenade's been thrown. Oh, and wipes off the squad there. Managed to get a grenade placement where it can blow up the garrison and the E garrison. Got the squad falling back. Flame engineers are pretty forward. Again, more explosions. Not sure why. Flame engineers do fall back. Grenade has been thrown and the engine for is falling back. Your moral landmine detonation. That time it was a landmine detonation, I think, from a mortar.
Bolt spenders, gacy cams down the rifleman. Territory. Bolt spender, oh, rifleman, rifleman throwing grenade. Does get a great hit there. Order does flinch some units around. And now bar specialty two. Yeah, the bolt spenders do fall back. A Mine sweep or MP40s here. We do have the rifle squad get inside the garrison. He does have access to stun grenades, so he may be going to try to clear out of stun grenades. Better support units now being researched or has been deployed. No stun grenades, rifle squads coming along the flank and they do fall back. Predator right Grandiers. Capturing down south, got some pioneers as well. And now got some stormtroopers. At this point in time, STGs wouldn't be half bad. Those go for a panda track. Another pair of casualties here. He does get a MG42 inside the bunker. That's actually a good spot for an MG42 garrisoned bunker. And we'll get a free grenadier rose over soon. And one of our right here. has been cut off. You got multiple landmines there. The new flame engineer is not being has been pulled on out. Pioneers are here. MP40 squad pushing way forward. We got also the Panzer Truck squad camouflage there. Just a single Panzer Truck looks like. You have a US landmine there. I think it's fully built. You know, here MP40s. Take some damage. Multiple rifle squads pushing forward. That's great deer. Maybe we're going to go for grenades or assault grenades. MP40s seem to be inside the garrison. Right now, this Grandier squad does get suppressed. Rocket squads getting suppressed there. Maybe a good idea to go for a bundle grenade. And also the garrison got cleaned out immediately by a grenade. Up here, got the damage before you falling back. Those grenades may get wiped out. And the granada warper may get wiped out as well. Oof. This is the large number of US riflemen. Doom armor now complete. We are and now going for a 2 3 4. Pioneers here. They probably need to fall back sooner or later because I've already get wiped out. Rifle squad there falling back. Yeah, that Pioneer did get wiped out. Over here, got the Stormtrooper squad being overrun by the Rifleman. We're on Fresh C2 right now. Got Fresh 2, 3, 4 in the view. Garrison did not get wiped out by the grenade. Starting to suppress on his squad, so there was another grenade there. Flame Engineers are trying to clear it out as well. And uh, Flame Engineers do clear out the Garrison. Stormtroopers may want to get up on a grenade. This seems a good spot for that. Over here, got the 2, 3, 4. And Pioneers are 3, 4. Minesweepers do fall back. Good spot there for our Grenade War for our Barrage. And he does get some good suppression there with the MP42. Those things largely out of range though. MP40 has just been put on now. Yeah, it does get all those forces suppressed. One of the right squads make it wiped out. It does get wiped out there. Over here, got the Flame Engineers engaged by a Stu. So both of the Axis players now have deployed out anti infantry vehicles. Which should be very helpful because their opponents are just pouring in the infantry. Good mortar yeah, hit so there. Our squad does fall back. Two, up. 
Here else into here has a single barracks, not even supply yard. His teammate has a supply yard and supply yard level one. So both of the US players are not very well attacked. I think this is gonna be sticky bombs right there. We've got the supply yard now going on up. Let's take a look between all the players. Let's take a look. Hope I clicked on the wrong one. Oh no, there's a rifle squad, not sticky bombs. He already has four riflemen squads in field. You don't need more riflemen. If you want more riflemen, perhaps go for a medic station or two. But the US player selected has very little manpower, plenty of munitions, not a whole lot of fuel. Going to supply yard level one. You even want to go for airborne at that rate and bring in some striking supports. Credit there for the shoe. His teammate has some men for the work with, some munitions to work with, and some fuel. Going for a tank depot. Maybe, uh, yeah, he can get a Sherman tank. Sherman tank will be useful in the gauge 224 and be very resistant to Stu and perhaps flank it. Very much player we've, we had selected. Has plenty of manpower, some munitions to work with, not a lot of fuel. And his teammate. Does have fun and some manpower to work with, some munitions to work with, and some fuel to work with. Sigvon does connect on 234, gets an engine crit. Rifle squads is here. Got MP42 suppressing the good formation then. Rather stick grenade plug with the grenadiers. Gonna fall back now. Maybe we'll get a wipe on this one. Needs to prioritize fire on him. But he is getting burned alive. Oh, here, rifle and squads come to these sectors, getting suppressed by the garrison MG42. Oh, Flame engineers trying to sway forward. He's retarded towards the slaver engineers. The MG42 is probably go down as well as the bunker. Guess get them suppressed down. It's a good damage onto them. Falls back the now. Rifle squad looks like they're trying to go for a sticky bomb. Yes, plenty. And those lose the MG42 entirely to the flamethrowers. And here, AM-10, Sigvon does connect. A damage into crit there. Guz, taking another good pin. Born troopers with double pan strike, charge his way forward. And will double pan strike hit? One hit, which also makes it so next level it could soak up the kill. Stu down. And there goes the main gun, not death. Stu could get a kill there, Sticky Bomb will connect. Got a US landmine there as well. I wonder if it's gone for infantry. No, oh, he's definitely went for armor, so never mind. Crap squad charging way forward. Tiny is falling back. MG42 set up in still a good position. Oh, he has gone for defensive. Ooh, great mortar hit there. 234 gains some shots in as well. It's starting to fall back now. You really should get a medic station. How many casualties are there? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Couple of, if you got one medic station, it's easy to kill off the medics, but if you get two medic stations, it's actually pretty hard to kill off the medics. Another two on the field needs this engine repaired from that sticky bomb. UM10 is not pulled on the field. He has gone for armor, his teammate. Wrong teammate. Has gone for infantry and could deploy out some rangers. Folks are going to fall back. Rifle squad does get suppressed there. Rifle squad here getting hit by the auto cannon. Oh, and here, caravan pens charging forward. 
the Volt Raiders could have got crushed there. They were in a position where they could dance out of the way, so the end pens could have got a massive crush. Panstrike rolls and misses there. Pack 38 does not roll a miss. And let's just maybe use the pack if you spug. Does get the kill there with Panstrike. Gets yeah. another big grenade. Bang on the short to crit there. Flame Engineers do get exploded by some artillery. Not sure what it was. Shoo. Pioneers do fall back. A good number of riflemen here to, engage by, to be engaged by the Shtu. Though it did rain a little bit short. Grenadiers now falling back. Shtu finds a good hit there. He does pick up the MC42. Almost lost a squad to that. MC42. Wait, what? Try to get inside the garrison, but was unable to get inside the garrison. And he's able to skip on out of there. I tried clicking on it, and that's why I thought he was going to be in the garrison, but... Rifle Squad does get hit there. This Rifle Squad's falling back. Right now the Allies have good VP lead and has a double capture in their favor. Mickey Bond does connect. Another Stu deployed on out. Had a good hit there. Soldier for straight four got bare stick bombs there. He's pretty far from death. He is fully immobilized, however. And we do have a repair bunker here. tank here oh we got a medic station going on up right there the infantry player does have quite a bit of manpower sort up is he going straight for off map combat group he may be going straight for off map combat group The grenade onto the MG42. Gets a good hit there. Two got even better hit, however. MG4 firing some shots. Gets a good hit there. Finds a landmine. Enemy German tank down. does get directed there on the Pioneers. Rifle squad's falling back. Oh, we've got 76 millimeter Shorman. That can make them very resilient. Hopefully, it's gone for the. Yeah, he has gone for field repair. Field, field repair tends to combo quite well with Sherman tanks to make them extra beefy. Uh, I always find it a little bit iffy to try to send uh, airborne squads. Engage stews, but this stew could get some crushes here. Against two, three, fours, they can do some decent work. There goes the bunker to the Panzer Shrex, his teammates' Panzer Shrex. Sticking for burden. Great damage there, get immobilized, damage injury, and destroy engine crits, so he's very, very disabled. Rifle squads are falling back. Destroyed engine crit there. Sherm Tank's able to get some good rearmor hits since it is exposed. Bundle grenade there, gets good hit there. Gunner killed crit there, does take the Shtu. Lane throws pretty forward. Being a destroyed crit there on the, on the Grenadier. Stormtroopers falling back. Grenadier's unable to charge his way forward. Maybe good idea to use field repair just to make sure it stays alive. Good to be charging way forward. And Sherm Tank may actually skip on out of there. Those are his teammates' landmines. Quite a bit of... Yeah, he's going straight for off my combat group, isn't he? Oh, finds the landmines. 
Good number of his grenadiers exploded. Reinforcements ready to roll. And he goes straight for off my combat group. It's a Greyhound, it. Rifleman, 30 cal, and AT gun. Also, getting a 30 cal too is not entirely bad at this moment in time because you can just throw him on the flank and protect the VP. Greyhound can be useful, especially versus the two three fours, And it's a bit more resilient, it can withstand some stu fire. An AT gun, that's always going to be useful. And Rifleman Squad is always nice to have. So overall, not a path bad combat crew in this situation. Oh, was that Greyhound landmine just deployed out? I think so. This Greyhound can easily gauge two, three, fours. Rifleman Squad getting hit by those two, three, fours. He does get hit there onto this Rifleman with a Granada Warper. Going for some stick bombs there. He does have pressure to C2's light vehicles. Looks like he caught up on the terrain. There's one, two, that probably can get him killed. Three's likely death. Mobilize. Yep, he only needed a two. Was that a third one? A fourth one there, maybe? Either way, it's dead. Very dead. Rock squad should way forward. You have down south. More rocket squad should way forward. The Grandiers are falling back. 200 points left. Back 38 firing away. The X squad is doing quite well in VPs. The 234 takes an AT gun shot from the M1 AT gun from the Alpha Combat Group. Granada Wolf is still raining on in. 30 cows getting hit. So I'm falling back with Alpha Combat Group. He does have Supply Yard level 2, so he's just going for a bit of a man spam. Alpha Combat Group is very cost effective, but of course, very random. German tank push way forward. Does have a C1 and a 50 cal now. Another Sherman tank push way forward. Crushed one. And this uh, not so fresh Sherman tank is doing some serious damage on him. The Sherman tank needs to fall back. Makes some oof, field repair time. He does have to make a field repair. But with this many panic strikes, he could easily go quick build down. I was like, these forces are to fall back there. Our squad is trying to move forward. Oh, got red right artillery ripping apart these formations. They blow the landmine there. Our squad is falling back, and we have the Grenade Warfare here. He's not reinforcing his rifleman squads. Maybe he is, not sure. Rifle squad charge away forward. This one does have a sticky bomb or a pan shrek. Does get sticky bomb on this 234. Grenades been thrown, forcing back those riflemen. Another bunk here. Maybe for a machine gun bar, could be for a repair bunker. Trim takes making his advance. The repair bunker up here is still alive. Got another catch cleaning station as well. Storm Troops taking some fire, they do have double pan shrek. Enemy unit down. And he dropped double pan shrek. These rifle squads should just run to those pan shreks and pick them up. Got another credit here here to go pan shreks. I doubt he can pick up any more. Yeah, he can't pick up any more. Ooh, three good pounds there. We got the Tiger Ace variant. And not Tiger Ace, that's actually a completely different one. The campaign one. And before the squad gets suppressed, two, three, four, some engage. Greyhound also here, does lose that entire squad. Our squad may get wiped out, does get wiped out. 
Greyhound pushes way forward. They have repair pioneers. Matrix pushes way forward. Rifle squad is getting nice and fed in. Oh, I think he got a full squad wipe there as well. Greyhounds pushing forward. Wait, did he get just two Greyhounds off that comic group? He may have just got another pair of Greyhounds um, off the back combat group and an AT gun. So somehow he's getting mass Greyhounds without even having a motorboat. British artillery is not being brought on in. The thing as well, his opponent is relatively vulnerable to mass Greyhound. Pack 30 firing away, does get some good damage in that one. This guy just may want to run away, take some hits, including Pan Shrex, potentially. And Tika Panzer. Rolls in this there. And Mango destroyed a crit there. Rolls on this there. Some other spray hounds saves. Grenades been thrown. And it gets annihilated by the Tiger Tank. Rocky Squad is skirmishing around. Got some Grenadiers here. Which do as well. As well as Sherman Tanks. Sherman Tanks are trying to crush these Grenadiers. Double Pan of Shrek getting knocked around. Let's get some hits there. Maybe I need to go for field repair now. Get some hits on both of them. Each may just fall back to get some repairs. Uh, friendly fire, buddy. We're not so friendly fire. Initiating defensive operations. He now has access to auto power shoot, which should give him well in his flame munitions to bring in the artillery. He can bring in three rounds of ordnance, and by the time they get off cooldown, he can probably bring in a fourth round. What's the cooldown for that? Is it 6 seconds or 30 seconds? I can't remember. If I get to the board, we'll find a Pershing. Firm tanks are vetted, so they can provide some good fire support for the Pershing. Casualties being reported. Oh, and we've got some artillery ringing, or some stews. Enemy unit Stu does go down. He's trying to busy Micro's Tiger Tank. Got food repair activated right there. So his Sherman Tanks will get a lot of extra repairs. Damage and crit there on the Tiger Tank. Okay, the person gets a kill. Does get efficiency one. Does lose a uh, Sherman. Game pushing the Pershing is very important. Does take a hit there as well. Pershing falling back. All the rifle squads falling back as well. And does manage to escape on out. Creating a Sherman for a Tiger Tank for a good trade. Losing does activate Blitz Creek. What's that for the Fatherland? I always get those two builds mixed up. It is for the Fatherland. And good hits there on the captured MG42. It's no longer captured. Grenadiers oh, may be on pick it up. Grenadiers do pick it up, and they're at full health, so the gun can stick around. Tiger tank carcass there, that can be salvaged. The sniper falling back, could be wiped out here. 2 to 4 fires into fire support. The sniper does go down. Does have to see three on his light vehicle, so he has both some work from the half tracks. He has also gone for defensive, which means he can get Black 88, so I bet you three as well. Up north, we do have some AT guns, not reinforced infantry, and pinned down flam throwers. Let's see, he of course has gone for off that combat group. I think he's just going for just spamming out more units. Does got another. Ground got 230 cals, a rifleman, and an M10. The M10 can be useful, but uh, 230 cals, he needs a good place one along the flanks, and that's about it. Sherman tank advancing with rear armor. He's hits there, taking out some of the models. Of course, he gets a good hit there as well. Squads falling back. We got four Pantrex across those two squads. Up north, we got the various forces charging way forward and some registered artillery brought on in. 
Extract the fires. Good hit. Or Panzer Faust. And now the Volksgrenier squad is falling back. Pershing push way forward. Rolls and misses there. Gets a good hit. Takes another hit. And bounce, looks like. Nebelwerfer firing. Was not expecting Nebelwerfer. This seems like a good spot for a Nebelwerfer. Gets a decent splash hit there. Good suppression. M42 or Bunker providing some more suppression. AT guns may actually get burned alive. This one's losing health rapidly. It does get to be crude. Being reported. Do a good job, micro these tanks. Down. That's a wipe there as well. Pershing still efficiency one, maybe pretty close efficiency two. Machine gun bunker still takes a hit. Thirty cal engaged by the grenadier and vice versa. And the uh, thirty cal does get wiped out by the machine gun bunker. So the cow does inside the church. And there goes the bunker. Grenadiers are falling back now. Rifle squad is falling back with the rifle squad to capture the sick uh, uh, cutoff point. Sherman tank advancing pretty far forward. He, he does have enough munitions for a few repairs. Those are the Sherman tank. He should have used a uh, few repairs sooner. Pershing Fresh C2. And maybe a good idea to use a few repairs. He needs to keep this Pershing line. Fresh C2 is very important to hold on for the Pershing. But he's getting caught up on the terrain, which is not good. And looks like the him getting caught on the terrain results in his death. Destroyed in the crit, main gun destroyed the crit. And now there's a death crit. Players the enemy has 100 points of counting down. Gains some damage around the allies. M10 will receive some misses there. You have some not crude AT guns. Brown on for landmine. He may explode. He does not explode there. That rapidly think we're sort of, uh, thinking about with the landmine. He does not find it. He to continue to sort of falling back. He crashed when lured forward, but. This guy's not to charge any farther forward. AT gun has been crewed. I think he may use the entire squad in there. Stug grenades not being utilized by the Grenadiers to so clear out the church. M242 finds some fire support. Rolls and missed it on the Greyhound. Two, three, four. Getting some shots there. Greyhound goes down. AT gun takes some shots. Enemy unit down. Grandier is taking some flamethrower hits. AT gun's almost destroyed. Actually, two on the flamethrower. Down to one last man. It's also a drop panther tractor there. Which may be a bit hard to obtain. Another Grandier pushes away forward. Mega panther tractor shot. Does destroy the AT gun there. Down south, we got quite a bit of infantry here. Stu. We're seeing multiple sticky bombs. It gets a uh, destroyed and crit. Oh, there's a pantrick there as well. Our score squad scores a kill. Got some flame engineers before. Got a panzer command. As he's gone for defense, he's able to find some extra pintle mounts here. All of you was going out more on his teammate's side. Flame throwers came to the retreat point there. Got off and artillery running out in. Panzer command. Going for a panther. Target tank getting repaired on up. Oh, got rush artillery igniting this force. is being caught on the sector. Ooh. And I've also seen our rush artillery that effective. Of course, he's the one who's just going for a mass uh, alpha combat group. Artillery running on in. 
Tiger tank at 234, straight forward. Damage and crit there. Gets direct hit, hit there on the gun. 234 coming for a flank. Tiger tank trying to get repaired in combat by his teammate. See the bounce there, and the two anti tank gun does get decrewed. Panther not pull on the field. It's a bounce there. Patrick falling back. He may stay alive. That squad does. Oh! May stay alive as well. Extra squad not being reinforced, or maybe it is. Enemy. Oh, it's definitely not being reinforced anymore. Right now, he is very low on everything. We got LMGs on great on this Grenadier. I wonder if that was a mistake. Right now, he's down to two, two structures, taking quite a bit of beating. He needs his Tiger Tank back at home, but for repairs. He does have a repair puncher here for his teammate. Hope it's him. Teammate's Panther does receive a injured crit. Got a undead approaching here. And those of the Grenadiers do get stunned by some grenades. Let's drop a bar there, so maybe good idea to pick that up. Nope, he's already geared as weapons, has a pan trick as well. Tiger Tank takes some fire there and sticky bomb. He good chance he will go down to the rifleman. Does get taken out by the Pershing, giving him a C1, but Pantrick does get a connection there. Private squad do get hit there. We had our full complement. Does get a free grenadier from the bunker. He does have enough of manpower bullets, so perhaps can bring in some manpower bullets and then go out tiger tank. To me, Panther is not getting hit. He needs repairs. Damage should crit there. Patrick rolls a bounce. Off a power shoot running on in on the Panther. Ain't got a short crit there, not a death crit. The artillery may pick it off, does take out the casual recovery bunker. Patrick does roll a miss there. Panther does get saved. AT gun there. And there goes the Grenadiers. We have only 50 points in reserve, and even this is dropping. Ground players that don't have any DPs remaining. 60mm mortar firing away. Looks like he got that from off combat group. I'm just going to have no idea what his composition is going to be because it's just going to be subject to whatever the game just gives him. What are my coordinates? After getting repaired on up, still. Victory point under siege. The Germans are moving in. Yeah, it's not like the best fight for either side. I think the mortar would generally win out in a fight like that, because the mortar has an anti-infantry weapon. Though the AT gun could destroy the uh, the quote unquote gun of the mortar. It's not necessarily a gun. Mortar's a mortar. Which is more closer to a cannon because of smooth bore. Which that in itself is more closer to a musket. Which is also smooth bore. That's me over and analyzing that. Let's get some good hits there under the Sherman. In the Sherman tank? Main gun destroyed a crit. Death crit. Our forces are taking casualties. Here comes Red Artillery. He has enough manpower for more off the combat group. So let's see what the game gives him now. I'm guessing an MJ, a bunker, or a mortar, a rifleman, and an AT gun. That's what I'm guessing his next off-mac combat group is. 
Crux Wolf doesn't look inside the garrison. He's trying to fight back now. It's a very little health. 80 gun does far away. He's not going for off that combat group just yet. Hmm. Next idea. Maybe two MGs and two riflemen. Let's pull these next off that combat group. Good grenade hit there. Pioneers do to carry one of the mortars. Pioneers do fall back. They do have a bar. A bolt to try and fight it out with medical supplies. You know, at this point, nope, there's this alpha comp group. Maybe gonna do go for some M2s. Either way, we do have an M10, a Ranger, a Rifleman, and a Mortar. Mortar can be useful, seeing how much they're trenching in the center of the map. The Rangers, maybe a good idea to go for some Thompsons. And then them can be quite nice, help engage the various stuff. Plus, there's the Panther. Bunker there. I suppose that he really wants to make sure the Rangers' anti vehicle don't go to Thompsons. Allow them to pass around the. the um, what's it called? The Bazooka's better. But looks like the M10's getting nailed by the Pack 38. Repeatedly. Casualties being reported. And we lose that stuff. Fire tank being repaired on up. Do have a Sherman tank, fresh one, and the Pershing. Grandier's pulling back there. Panther has some health to work with. Let's be careful with the Rangers. Going for actually, he is mainly to play another squad of Rangers. I did hear. Lippy, that's what I heard, and there goes the captured 30 cal. So we do now have, I think, all of his doctrines now available. His teammate has no experience, so he has access to M2s right now. The defense player has command points, so he can still dig it up pack 38s. Not Flak 38s, Flak 36s, Flak 88 millimeters. He does have the 20 centimeter rocket barrage, which is the final of the left line, as well as the right line, so. He should have enough command points to get out the Flak 88, I believe. Salt grenades not being utilized by the Grenadiers. And his teammate has all toxin abilities available. And should use manpower blitz more often. It's one of those abilities you should constantly be used as soon as you can get, because it only gives you a. Uh, value, net positive value of manpower. Does that have a secret tank on the field? The amount of the uh, Pershing and Sherman tanks have been advanced in this region. Maybe a good idea for his team to go for a flat kitty in this region. A Panther, pressure forward, so the Blitzkrieg player now has a Panther as well as a Tiger tank. He has a good amount of AT. Then just falling back, going to receive a Tiger tank shot. Got a medic stationed here, bring, bring back some more casualties. This team is Panthers first forward, only pressure seeing one onto it, and a one sticky bomb onto it. Private squad dancing around quite a bit. Granada Warfare does not get wiped out, and the squad does fall back there. I don't know why I keep on hearing explosions like that. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. We got a motor pool now going on up. So what is this next off at combat group? Oh, guess correctly on the manpower. You now bring another off at combat group. He is bring back his rangers back, back home. There's off at combat group and gets himself an M10, AT gun, mortar, and rifleman. M10, AT gun, useful. Mortar, situational. Rifleman, always nice to have. Grandiers do explode. Enemy and get fully wiped down. out. Oh, here we do have a fresh flak panzer Ostwood. And you also have some artillery being brought in somewhere. Ah, trying to hit the 30 cal, which is not really that useful. 
might be as well. Very cow stays alive. The eight, the infants doing good job of just waiting in for being alive. Nice cross horse push way forward. Arm squad takes some good hits there from the tiger tank and getting some repairs of the repair bunker. Nice cross horse may wipe out the rifleman. Rifle's grenade was not successful. Drops the bar. Nice cross horse takes out the AT gun. AT gun is also engaging the M10. Giga Panzer, Panzer Faust firing. Nope, Panzer Faust does not properly fire. Tiger Tank may get shot on the M10. Does not get shot on the M10. Trying to avoid the Rangers. Got now stun grenades being thrown on by the Rangers. Rush artillery raining on in. Annihilating everything here. And probably will soften up his own vehicles. Tiger Tank does bounce some of those rounds. A grenade has been or landmine has been found by the panther. There's also a landmine here. And there goes the M10. Five people running in, soften up these units. Panther crawling away. I think they're actually missing down to dodging most of those rockets. Panther took quite a bit of a hit and does have a good number of pioneers to repair up the panthers. Fed 2 Panther, engaging Fed 2 Pershing, AT guns here to support the Vector C3. Rolls a bounce there, rifle and squad charge with the Panzer Shrek. AT gun fire to go down, we have the unit active, and some more longevity on these units. Pershing, however, is fire to go down. down. Did wipe out something there, I believe. Panther troop down south. AT gun does get the crew. There goes the Pershing. Rapid squad is charging four. Flame is here trying to burn down the structure. And Pant does get taken out. That's crosswords about to get overran. Does fall back. Rest artillery being brought on his own HQ. And as well, you can target more than just your own uh, control points. You can target your own buildings. In which the house somehow bounced a lot of those rounds. Rapid Squad is going to suppress. Grenadier is trying to get Enemy reinforced. Yeah. Does go down there. That Fair McClure has been having trouble for most of the game, honestly. Just taking a lower amount of hits. Glypey raining on in. Stopping up a large amount of stuff. Yes, I have one Tiger Tank, one Flak Panzer Oswin, one Pioneer, and one dual equipped Grenadier. Yep, I'm partially in belief that the, his teammates should deploy out a Black 88, maybe right here or here. Panther takes some hits there. The pressure seat three Panthers right now. Does lose a Panther. Grandiers, holds Grandiers, and next question is straight forward. There goes the Sherman tank. Rifle squad is charging the way forward. Rifle squads, it's a fire. Uh, as this player is trying to taunt their opponents. Oh, I thought his command points would be higher than eight. Maybe this is just bugged out right there. Nope, his command points are still going on, so he has research A ability, just not the Black 88 ability. We have only 25 points. We must turn to battle immediately. Some grenade there, but that does not stun the gun. That's a separate model from the gunner. Here comes the Fly P rocket barrage. Uh, 
Raptor has plenty of health, but getting whittled down by the AT gun. Flock Panzer Oswin, Veteran C3, rotating on the flank. The Mortar has a Veteran C1. Now it's no longer Veteran C1. Mortar does go down as well. An AT gun's about to go down. Rangers getting some hits. There goes that Ranger. That three Flock Panzer Oswin's are deadly. This is going to try to get a sticky bomb there. He could just try to thwart back to his own base. He'll probably take the sticky bomb, but he'll probably be safe enough. And he's going to get to his opponent's base. He... Okay, he's, of course, the boots pretty clear, so he can't bring in any artillery. Oh, he actually got the wipe there on the retreat. Yeah, flak pounds are us. Take no prisoners from the Russian C3. YP taking some bounces. Annihilates the medics as well. Probably pretty close to getting a new fresh squad. But that's Trias and another medic station. There's the medic station. What did the Axis or the Allies even have going? He does go for another off map combat group. That's literally his entire army now. Two AT guns, 30 count riflemen. His teammate right now has a bit of stuff. More than his, uh, his teammate. He actually has quite a bit of manpower as well, so maybe going for a Seth Calliope wouldn't be half bad. This map can get quite congested, and Calliope's can help clear out the congestion. Uh, another Sherman tank now being on the dual queue. Very nice. Uh, that 5P is really not caring if it hits this. Even his pens don't do much damage. Ain't gonna short a crit there, so he's good as dead. Rapid Squad's falling back. Good chance he gets wiped out. He's seeming to start to push forward with his Sherman and Pershing. Ain't gonna short a crit here. Grenade has been thrown onto the AT gun. AT gun is fully decrewed. Enemy unit down. And the engineers are falling back. Pershing taking severe damage. Sherman tank is taking severe damage. And may have the short crit. Panthers will take out the Pershing next. May have a short crit there as well. And there goes the Pershing. The Axis players are down to the 9 Germans tickets, which is not a whole lot. Points. They have to be very careful not to lose any more tickets. Because they probably, if they lose one, they're probably going to lose all of them. Speaking of which, we got the Rifle Squad to catch the point there. Stun Grenade, maybe stop the capture. No, nope, there's the capture there. Fire. They count it down, the minis are to capturing. They have to eat the barrage that was used before the Fall of Land to protect himself. He does have, this is in his sector, I think it's this sector here. Does decapture the sector in time, only losing a couple of VPs. And the push the way forward. Last course tours have kept the sector. Damage and taking some more hits. Main gonna short the crit there. Bounce down the Sherman and tank, and there goes the Panther. AT gun keeps his head on the Sherman tank, and he may have trouble pulling that back because his AT gun's in the way. Hand stretch squad does go get forced back, but not wiped out. Got a stew here. Sherman tank down. Looks like his teammate has gone another off that combat crew. And he will immediately lose the M10, because he also got two riflemen and an AT gun. Panther charges way forward, gets damage and crit onto the Panther. Uh, 
I feel raining on in. Enemy unit down. Panther here. Damage is engine is critted. Sticky bomb onto the Panther. Getting it fully immobilized. This an AT gun to help finish off if it rolls a hit. His teammate or he cannot bring in enough munitions to bring in the 28 centimeter rocket barrage. The Axis players do have double capture in their favor, giving some more breathing room. So they can let this point be captured and not lose the game. But why let it get captured? We can just win the game. EP down here is captured, being camped by a Panther with a damage engine. And now the central point's being catching up for the Fatherland's active now. Spend the rest of his munitions onto it. And take time to salvage up the Panther. And the machine gun does go down. Ooh, and there goes that Grenadier. Panther still needs repairs. Especially three Panther versus unbedded Pershing. And the engine's still critted. Grenadier squad needs to fall back. There's a pen there. That looks like the Grenadier squad will go down. His another Panther tanks push me forward. He does not have a Tiger Tank on the field. He can go for Manpower Blitz and get the Tiger Tank out. Panther's taking some hits. Stick Bomb does connect onto the Panther. Rolls another bounce there, slowly backing away. Pack 30 gains some pens. And there it goes. The Pershing does go out, or the Panther does go out of control. Bang on the short crit. Nothing left down here. In the center, we've got the AT gun falling back on the very same streets. This Pershing's now a veteran C1. It looks like uh, this player's just starting to get overran. He probably should have gone for an uh, M2 or 2 up on the gauge. That's where I'm going to lose everything. We do have. He has enough uh, manpower for off that combat crew. Uh, he's also AFK. He's not getting reinforced. I think he's just AFK. Yep, he has backed all the game now. And so those of the Axis players will win with four command points remaining. This is Anne Grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.